everyone. Today we're going to talk about supplements real quick. I had BPI Sports send me a bunch of supplements. So they sent me a sample of their protein, their pre-workout, and their BCAAs. Uh, just to do a review, real quick, my opinion on supplements is that they're there to supplement your diet. The goal should definitely be to have a good, strong diet and supplement from there. Not rely so much on supplements to get you the nutrients and get you to that level of performance that you need. Focus on food. That's really what matters. They sent me their BCAA, a pre-workout, and a sample of their protein. So I'm going to try to be as unbiased as I can. They did send me this stuff for free. I'm not contractually obligated to give any sort of opinions or anything like that. First, the BCAAs. Now, I've never been one to consistently take BCAAs. The taste for this fruit punch was okay. A little bit too much like Kool-Aid for my opinion. Uh, I'm just not a big fan of fruit punch in general, so maybe they've got a better a better tasting BCAA. Now that's the taste, which is a huge factor for supplements. The next factor would be effect. And like I said, I just don't take BCAAs enough to notice the long lasting training effect that I can tell you with serious honesty, like, hey, I take this all the time and it's great, it's wonderful. I, I haven't. I mean, they sent me a few of these and so far it tasted pretty good. And you know, I don't have the expertise or the timeline of consuming BCAAs consistently to say it's had a huge impact on my training. This is the pre-workout they sent me. It's 1MR Vortex. It's the snow cone flavor. I did try the old 1MR when it first came out a number of years ago. I think it was 2010. And the training effect was strong, but the taste wasn't quite there. This, however, is the best pre-workout I've tasted ever. The snow cone flavor is crazy good. So the taste is an 11 out of 10. If taste is a big factor for you for pre-workouts, this is your jam because the snow cone flavor is awesome. Um, training effect. The the thing here is it had a strong training effect, um, maybe too strong because it pushed me into a, a place in my deadlift workout I should not have gone because it definitely impacted other, other training days. Um, so there's that. The negative thing about this pre-workout is that it has proprietary blends. So it, it doesn't tell you the specific quantities of caffeine and that sort of stuff in there. I definitely feel BPI Sports would be better off not listing it as a proprietary blend. I would like to know what's in there in terms of specific quantities. This pre-workout so far has tasted the best, the longest, and it's given me a consistent training effect that I'm after for drinking a pre-workout. Negative side is that I, I don't know exactly what's in here in terms of quantities and all that sort of stuff. This is their Whey HD Ultra Premium Whey Protein. Uh, one thing that jumped out at me is that it does have a tested independent laboratory seal and they sent me some literature about their proteins and some of their other supplements. It seems to be legit. I'm sure that many of you guys have seen that protein companies might be spiking their proteins more frequently than we think with just amino acids or other things, you know, that be tested for heavy metals and a bunch of lead shows up. So uh, BPI Sports seems to be contacting this lab and having them test their stuff for purity and for quality. And if there's no funny business going on, then you know that's something I could definitely get behind. Regarding the taste, this is one of the better vanilla caramels. Still not my favorite. Mixed with milk, it's much, much better. Um, training effect though, with protein, it's hard to say. I, I Again, going back to my philosophy on supplements, is that you, you take it to supplement your diet. So I'm not taking protein after all of my workouts. I'm not taking protein even, even a, I could go a whole week without taking protein. It's just a matter of if I can get enough food in my diet, and if I can't, then I'll take protein. In that case, I want it to taste great. <laughs> and uh, the thing about this is that it does taste good, but the the qualities about it that are kind of questionable is if you are following like a macro-specific diet, the carbohydrates are four per serving, and the fats are three per serving. So, of course, it's going to taste good when you got four grams of carbohydrates in there and three grams of fat. It's going to taste better than most proteins. I will definitely get some protein from BPI Sports in the future and likewise for their pre-workout because they do taste the best out of all those supplements I've tried. So maybe give them a shot. They did send this stuff to me for free. Um, try to give you guys an unbiased review. To me, taste is pretty important in my supplements and these guys have nailed the taste factor down. Pre-workout gives a positive training effect and protein tastes Pretty damn good, and uh, BCAAs I really don't know so much about, and that was not my most favorite one. So thanks for watching the review. I hope you like it, and uh, maybe check these guys out.
Thanks, BPI Sports, for sending me this stuff and a free extra-large T-shirt. Thanks for thinking I'm jacked enough to fill that out. Take it easy.